Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can export uh, goals within uh, Matomo in order to send them to Google Ads in order to measure uh, your, uh, let's say, conversion rate within Google Ads. Uh, so what issue are we trying to solve here? Um, let, let me explain a little bit what is, what is going on. Um, so currently with uh, GDPR, applying what is happening and in any cases even before this if you wanted to uh, send google ads uh, conversion tracking code tracking code in fact if you were carefully reading uh, the google ads guidelines you needed the consent in order to be able to fire this uh, google ads conversion tracking code anywhere when a conversion happened on a website purchase or anything like this uh, by chance, uh, in order to fix, let's say, this old issue, what one could do is actually you could use Matomo uh, with a goal conversion, which is exempted from consent in some countries such as France, and then you can export those uh, goal conversion and import them within Google Ads because Google Ads as a system in which you can import, in fact, uh, external source. Okay, so if you go on a Google Ads account over here, uh, you will see that you have the possibility to make some imports uh, and you have as well the possibility when you click over here on new conversion, you see to click here on import. And we are uh, looking at here uh, what they call, let's say, offline conversions or at least other uh, dots that they can put over here in order to say any third party system can in fact import. Uh, data within um, within Google Ads. Um, there are several ways that you can handle this within uh, Matomo. We are going to see the easiest way today with what we call a premium feature. So of course, a feature that you need to pay for unless you are within the Matomo cloud. But here in my case, I'm on on-prem installation. And um, I'm going to use, in fact, this uh, premium feature named Advertising Conversion Export, which allows you to uh, not do it manually, okay? Because for free, you can do it manually or um, you can, of course, develop a script in order to export the data and import them uh, within Google Ads. But the idea, of course, of the premium feature is that some developers, uh, so to say here, the Matomo team already created one for you and that you can, of course, um, uh, in exchange of a fee uh, to, to get it. So what this uh, conversion export is doing is that once it's told on uh, your, uh, your Matomo, it's going to give you uh, the possibility to use the plugin that we can see um, over here. So once it's installed and set, you're going to see next to your goals over here, something named conversion export on which you can. Uh, so da, 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 there was a problem. Please try again. Did, da, da, da. Okay. So it seems like um, mm, funny. So you have like a tiny issue here. I'm just gonna double check uh, what is going on with my plugin. Uh, advertising, okay, conversion export plugin on page. Mm, seems like everything look okay to me. So um, just gonna see what's going on. So if I deactivate it and if I activate it back, um, what's gonna happen? Let's see, uh, conversion exports. Ah, okay, which makes sense. Okay, uh, so probably that was due to my ad blocker or something else. I uh, was probably reading the name Google Ads or something like this and was getting reluctant. Okay, so nothing crazy. And normally if I go back over here and if I click on goals and conversion export, I should, okay, so that was the ad blocker. Okay, so uh, that's what this uh, feature is about. So to say what it's doing here is that when you install this plugin, Matomo will um, automatically consider what we called uh, the GCLID. So GCLID is a parameter which is set by Google Ads when the auto-tagging is on. Okay, so when your auto-tagging is off, you use the ETM parameters, things that you must never do because uh, you are used to work with, with Google Analytics and, and other platforms recognize automatically uh, the, the parameters of, of Google. But 
Uh, normally, you should be set in auto tagging, so it means that you have nothing to do on Matomo's side. Matomo will see some links coming on your website using the GCL ID parameter and will automatically consider those uh, parameters as coming from those ads from Google. And as a result, if a goal is happening on your website, then of course, this given visitor or visit is associated to this goal it's gonna produce you at the end of the day um, directly over here a file with the right GCL ID identifier which is needed by Google in order to be able to identify that it was this given campaign, this given ad and so on and so forth which uh, converted, okay? Uh, so you have a full uh, guide explaining you all of this uh, over here. It's not that difficult uh, to, uh, to install so uh, you have, of course, stuff to do on the Google Ads site. So this is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to create um, a conversion uh, within Google Ads. Not that I'm not sure that you can use this method for an existing uh, conversion within Google Ads. Uh, I haven't, let's say, uh, dig depth into it, but I think that it's only for new conversion that you create, new entries that you create within the system. If you already have selected one of those, I'm not sure that you can use it in order to uh, import some more. Okay, so here you select uh, other sources and serum, um, then uh, it's just for a click thing. Um, what is important here is the name that you're going to give. It has to be the same as the one that you give uh, within Matomo. So I'm just going to call it like uh, Matomo conversion. Or just, just Matomo, let's say. Uh, use the same value for each conversion. Um, the number of conversion to, uh, okay. Mm. Well, I don't know here. It depends, of course, of, of your website, but in my case, I'm just gonna select like this. Okay, hold on. So now um, I created it, my, uh, my conversion, which is named Matomo over here, so I, uh, need as well to consider that I put here capital N, so that's that's important. Okay, uh, next, what I need to do is that I need to go on my website, I need to create a goal. So let's create a goal, uh, I, I name it like Matomo, Ma Matomo, and then uh, I can, um, well, of course, I think that the best way will be uh, to select something. So I'm gonna go for manual code, uh, manual one, manual one means that I'm going to need to inject, uh, let's say, a tracking code. So I think that this method is really similar to the uh, Google Ads conversion one. So in addition to the Google Ads conversion tag that you have already, this is the equivalent of Matmo if you would like to trigger a goal. Um, so that, that's the way you should go for it. Uh, here, most of the time, it's like in Google Ads, you just have it like once, once per visit. And uh, we have it. So now it's named Matomo, everything looks fine. And then I can go here on conversion export. I can give it a name, I'm gonna keep the same name Matomo here. That's for Google Ads. Access token is automatically gerate, generated by the system. Uh, here the click ID here. Uh, from what I understood from the documentation, if you want to daily export, you should go for three. And um, then I can select the, the one that I want to make. I just keep Matomo. Okay, so um, what's going to happen over here? What I did here by entering all this uh, given form, once more you have all the uh, process which is described over here. What it's going to do is that it's going to generate, so every day, a file with all the information uh, which need uh, to be used by Google Ads in order to identify who converted. Okay, that, that's the, the thing. Um, so what's gonna happen is that every day you're gonna get this uh, this file which will be uh, generated. So helps, yeah, here it is. So as you can see, this is exactly the file that Google is expecting to have in order to import the data within its system. Here you get a link, I'm not going to click on it because it has a unique identifier, but this uh, download link, you just need to click on it, it's going to copy it, and once you copy it, you need to go over here in uh, Google Ads, click over here on import, then you click over here, then you say that uh, it's going to be HTTPS, here you copy and paste the URL, and then what it means to Google is that, okay, every day now I need to go 
on this URL within Matomo, I need to take this file which contain the data dealing with the visitor who is coming from Google Ads and who converted as a goal. Uh, you can, of course, uh, double check that everything is working by just uh, adding a GCLID parameter to your URL. So typically, I'm going to do it uh, now. So if I go over here on my, on my Matomo. So on my Matomo, we are on the February of 16th. And as you can see, I'm getting uh, some visit from some person. Um, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to create like a fake URL and this fake URL is going to include the GCLID parameter and we're going to see that if someone was coming from a given Google Ads with this GCLID parameter, then it's going to uh, be associated to a given visit. So let's go for it. So uh, I'm going to access to my website. So this is my website. I'm going to add a question mark with GCLID equal. I'm going to say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, random GCLID. Okay, so the person's landing on my website. Uh, nothing crazy so far, but now if I refresh my page and if I look at the log visit, as you can see, I'm getting uh, this uh, person, this visitor, as flagged as coming from a Google Ads with a click ID. Okay, and this will uh, result in, as I said, a parameter which will be uh, happen to this uh, to this given uh, visitor. Um, won't be included yet within my file because this visitor has not yet converted. So I'm gonna, let's say now, add my, uh, add my goal. Um, so we say that it was Matmo and Matmo at the ID number two. So I'm just gonna uh, pick up uh, now the tracking code. So tracking code is, uh, is over here. So oops, okay, I'm gonna take this one. Let's take this one. I'm just gonna hard code it, it for the sake of this example on uh, on my website. Just gonna uh, maybe go over here and uh, let's say just uh, just add a button. Okay, let's just add a button uh, and 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 and. Okay, and let's let's do it this way. On click the down and try goal number two. Okay. Um, button on click. Um, I haven't. Uh, this is HTML. Should click me. Should probably have put it somewhere else. That's okay. Uh, if I go back over here, so uh, didn't work the way I, guess I expected it, but uh, if I can, can I edit some HTML here? If I put my button like this, will it work? Yes. Okay, great. So now I have my, um, I have my button. If I click on it, I should, yes, I should send, as you can see, um, a goal so the goal is going to be now registered and associated to my given visitor as you can see it ended up with a with a goal so uh, what's going to happen now is that so depends of course of how fast your your server is as process uh, processing the data but normally if uh, things are working well i should get so not yet Okay, data have not yet been processed, but I can force it by invalidating the reports. And if I do so, we will see that we will get our clean our clean data set ready to be imported within a, within Matomo, and you will understood the full the full process so conversion export. Not so that once it's done, it's done. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, it has not been yet uh, generated. Okay, yeah, unfortunately, even by forcing it, it has not yet been. Uh, so it's over here. Channel type is fine. This is a Matomo conversions, and this is as well. Uh, 
this is as well correct and this is yeah this is just the download link okay anyway in normally in some minutes it should be um, it should be fine I'm wondering if I cannot force it back maybe I can in order for you to, to see it uh, Matomo v2 then export Matomo Matomo v2 And normally here, uh, last requested never. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, no, it has not yet been generated, but it will. I already saw one of my clients already tested it, and and they told me that uh, yes, they are getting the the date of the of the ID. Hope you enjoyed this video, and it's gonna help you um, implement uh, all those tracking within. All those import within uh, within Google Ads, just to let you know that you have over here the full user guide explaining you how it's working. Thanks for watching.